This plot is based on a true story that happened in 1996. Everest, a relevant film, was released in 2015. This film reveals the truth about what happened at the time. As for how a man puts his life at risk to accomplish some wishes. Edmund Percival Hillary and Tenzing Norgay were the first beings who climbed up the summit of Everest in 1953. Following that, a few people attempted to scale Mount Everest. Because climbing up Everest is equal to death. And Rob Hall took it as his business in 1992. He started to take people to Mount Everest. And in the coming four years, he successfully completed this adventure taking 19 people without any accident. Rob is ready to take a new team to Mount Everest in 1996. Rob's wife says before his departure, come soon. Because she is expectant. Rob says, no one can stop me to come. And he sets off his journey. It is the 30th of March 1996. Many passengers reach Nepal. The company name of Rob Hall is Adventure Consultants. And Rob's team has many individuals named Beck, Doug, John, etc. The team has a total of 13 members. And the journey time is 40 days. And they have to reach the summit of Everest till the 10th of June at noontime. The entire Kathmandu team was flying above 9,383 feet in a helicopter. Reaches Lucila. Afterward, they walk on foot ahead. And reach at the base point consisting of the height of 1706. There are different foreigner teams. Who want to reach the summit of Mount Everest with their own companies. This team reaches the height of 21,300 feet on the 23rd of April. There the oxygen is decreased. There is a camp where the people stay taking oxygen. The missionary companies have separate camps. At the different summits of mountains for climbers. So that they may get rest. Now the further journey is uneasy because oxygen is decreasing. The mountain ascent is straight. This is a place where they encounter the clouds. All companies camps have adjusted guide ropes for the safety of climbers so that the climbers may ascend. Because an ordinary person cannot ascend without the help of guide ropes. It is not an easy adventure because of the season and lack of oxygen. Gradually becomes the cause of death of human beings. Now they all move forward. Ascending mountains, they are facing much trouble. They are facing problems in breathing. But they continue to move ahead. They climb up at the mountain height of 24,000 feet. Now Halen, who is from Rob's camp, informs him about the changing condition of the weather. And the weather has changed. If it did not change, it will prove devastation. Rob says, there is no change of weather. Mountains make their own way. And they begin ascending with his full team. Because of the strong wind, it is extremely difficult to ascend step by step. But they have taken this accomplishment as a challenge. So they continue. And finally, reach their next camp having a height of 2,685 feet. The weather condition is worst here. So they decide to not move ahead. Moving ahead means death. But on Friday the 10th of May, the weather condition is moderated. There is not a sign of any storm. They again decide to ascend at 12.30 a.m. And the distance of reaching the summit is 12 hours. Hoping it, they start moving as they will fulfill their dream within a few hours. After that, they reach the height of 27,600 kilometers. While the clock strikes 4.39 a.m. There is a team member among them named Beck. There is an infection in his eyes. He had undergone eye surgery a few years ago as a result he is unable to see clearly. Rob tells him that we are moving ahead. And you can also if you feel better after half an hour. Otherwise, you will have to end your journey here. Reaching ahead, others notice that there are no guide ropes. And they start adjusting guide ropes here. Because they cannot ascend without the support of guide ropes. Three of them decide to descend. Because there is a cold and strong wind. Their summit oxygen is also ended. 
so they return back not taking any risk even their destination is not too far. There are the deep braces of snow on the mountain of Everest. With the invisible layers. People have come to their end after falling into these braces. So they cannot take a single step forward without any guiding rope. Now their whole team is at the height of 28,740 feet. Reaching this height, they suffer hypoxia. The symptoms of hypoxia include stammering of the tongue. The feeling of heat and bad temperament. It occurs because of the lack of oxygen. As all ascend, they face many complications. A swelling of brain and pleural effusion. They begin to move forward after adjusting the guide rope. Their condition is worsened. No one has good health but a passion that is pulling them ahead. And they reach the summit of Everest at 1.14 pm. They have completed what they had dreamt. Rob and his team are very rejoiced. After a time, they decide to descend. They should return back at 2 colon 0 0 foot o'clock according to plan. They are late while clouds cover the mountain. And they find difficulty in breathing because their oxygen tank is empty. Rob tells as their oxygen tank is empty. And all reached climbers at Mount Everest start descending now. While descending, they encounter their team member Doug who is climbing up. Rob forbids him to go but he replies. If he does not climb up today, he will never be able to come back. Rob takes him upward with great pain. In spite of his ill condition, Doug reaches the summit of Everest. While descending, Doug's condition is worsened. He is nearly semi-conscious. Now both are trapped at the summit. Rob's team asks him to return back. But Rob forbids it telling them he will not leave Doug. It is a matter of human life. And he hardly struggles to descend Doug with guide rope. Suddenly, the terrible snowstorm bursts here. Leaving Doug at a place, Rob is going to bring the oxygen tank. He asks Doug to stay here. Doug begins to pursue him due to the numbing of the brain. Knowing nothing, Doug is fallen into a ditch and no more. Here Rob is also completely exhausted so rests a while. Meanwhile, his team member also arrives there who has attained the half-oxygen tank. After giving the oxygen tank to Rob, both start descending in the snowstorm. They are total of 13 trapped members at the summit. And a snowstorm is moving over there. Now it is 3 foot o'clock at night. A message is conveyed to them by the camp. That people are being sent to them for their help. But they can come at that time when the snowstorm will be stopped. The climbers at the summit are dying due to the cold and snowstorm. Now it is 5 foot o'clock. And the date is the 11th of May. Rob's companion's mind is numbed. And stops working due to the cold and exhaustion. When Rob himself is about to lose his senses. His other companion, taking off his own jacket says, it is a hot day. And he descends the mountain. Now they are wholly disconnected from the camp. When the snowstorm is stopped. Rob's call is received who says that I am unable to move. Because his hands and feet are frozen. He asks for help from them telling them his partner is dead. Camp members insist Rob descend in any condition. Because there are still strong winds at the summit. But Rob says, I will be unable to come. Afterward, their contact is disconnected. Now the camp members at the downside say to make contact with Rob's wife. Keep his phone beside the satellite phone. He will be strengthened hearing the voice of his wife. And they all do the same. As they contact his wife. Rob's wife says you will have to continue your walk. Sun will rise after some time. Just descend in any condition. Rob is feeling much difficulty there because there are strong blowing winds. Breathing is not easy without oxygen. Rob says that my feet and hands have frozen but his wife says. You will have to walk for your blood circulation. You should not stop. Then Rob tries to get up from there. And helpers of Rob who had gone upward to save him. They cannot reach there. Because there are strong winds and they have to return back. Rob is told that the members who are coming to help you. 
have returned back because of strong winds. Rob says I will have to stay here for one more night. Because he cannot leave alone from there. Rob's wife is worried. And she says I wanna talk to Rob. She asks Rob you will have to come at home. I am waiting for you. Rob says to his wife, I cannot meet Sara. Sara is the unborn baby of Rob who is named Sara by Rob before her birth. Rob apologizes for not meeting her. Because he knows that he is unable to go back. Thinking this is his death time. Rob's wife says don't say as such. You cannot lose your hope. Rob assures her of his love, and said, you must take care of yourself. Later, their call is disconnected. Beck who is facing the eyes problem has descended with other people. All people are left at night in that snowstorm. The survivors there are also dead. But Beck is still alive. Imaginating his wife and kids, he moves ahead stumbling with courage. And he reaches in the camp at the downside. Where other people are also present. His condition is worst. He will be dead if he is not treated medically or not brought him downside. Knowing Beck, his wife suggests that I arrange for a helicopter myself. Helen who is a member of Rob's team. Says that air pressure is much at the summit. The approach of the helicopter is difficult there. Then Beck's wife calls to American Embassy in Nepal. Pleading them for Beck's help. They arrange a helicopter for Beck. And they rescue Beck in a tough situation. On the other side, Rob cannot be rescued from there and trapped in the mountains. And they are all dead. Bringing Beck downstairs, he is treated. His hands and nose are rotten because of the frozen blood. So they have to detach from his body. But Beck's family supports him and he lives with his family till today. In July 1996, Rob's daughter is born. Who is named Sara by her mother as Rob wanted. It was the tragedy of people in 1996 where many people lost their lives.